I'm standing right now inside the Dwarjak Quarry. So 60 years ago, this was just a mountain of granite above our heads, looking just like the hillsides on either side. This giant artificial hole in the ground was hollowed out to supply the raw material for the concrete in Dwarjak Dam. It turns out that the geology of this area was perfect for the raw material needed to make the concrete of the dam. Now, a quarry of this size is unique enough, but the method used to haul the rock out of the quarry is the most interesting part of the site. You can see that this is pretty rugged territory, and there wasn't an easy place to build a rock crushing plant and a concrete mixing facility for the dam construction. So rather than carving up the hillside anymore or having to maintain additional haul roads, they built a gravel crushing facility directly below us. A couple hundred feet below us, they hollowed out an enormous cavern and then hollowed out a 20 foot in diameter shaft that went all the way to the top of the mountain, which at the time was way up there. Then over the next five years, they took off the top of the mountain and pushed the rubble into that central shaft, where it piled up in 100 foot tall heaps inside the cavern, where it was run through a rock crushing operation and then sent out to be turned into concrete. This is one of the few times that this technique in mining was used on a dam construction site. The final result both saved time and money and minimized the amount of excavation scarring necessary on the neighboring hillsides. Makes me wonder if a thousand years from now, that rock crushing quarry will still be in existence.